Now for Monday Night Raw, there was a change, a major change at the beginning of the show. It's being reported by Sean Sapp from Five Falls Paywall um, that Monday Night had a major change. Now, now Tommaso Ciampa returned on WWE on Monday Night defeating The Miz, but he was actually supposed to answer the open challenge of Seth Rollins. Unfortunately, that was scratch. No one knew why. It was because of Vince McMahon. Hey everyone, welcome to the show. Thank you for being here. And if you find yourself enjoying the video, remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification for more content in the future of WWE. And this will be an insane fight, <laughs> an insane story. Rhea Ripley versus Raquel Rodriguez. This will be one of my favorite, being that Rhea Ripley is my female wrestler, my favorite female wrestler. Now, it's being reported and rumors also. Um, says Rhea Ripley will reportedly face former rival for the first time in over two years at WWE SummerSlam. Now, what do you guys think of Raquel Rodriguez going against Rhea Ripley for that title? Now, that is an insane match. Now, if you guys see WWE on facts also posted, yes, please. Rhea Ripley versus Raquel Rodriguez. Now, same height, strong woman. They could back it up. This won't be a slaughter. This... this Come on now, what you guys think about this? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Remember to like and subscribe. Now, if you're a big fan or a fan of Sasha Banks um, or Mercedes Moon, however you want to call her, now she's doing big things. Now it's being reported, and according to the Hollywood Reporter, um, there have been discussions about professional wrestler Mercedes Bernardo, also known as Mercedes Moon, being considered for a role in the Spider-Man spin-off film El Muerto which features also none other than Bad Bunny. Now, it's also being rumored that Sasha Banks or Mercedes Moon might be coming back uh, to the WWE world. Now, do you guys want her to come back to the WWE world? Also, how would you feel seeing her in a Spider-Man movie? Let me know. And of course, who can ignore and forget about the civil war between the Usos and Solo Sequoia and the Tribal Chief? Now, a lot of fans and a lot of speculations running around the internet are going the Uso side, okay, the brothers. Now, it is being said that many fans expected WWE to take such a route in the storyline. Now, the WWE Universe is trying to predict the outcome of the match, um, saying that Solo might turn on Roman Reigns. Now, that is not what I think. I think something else is going to happen. Maybe one of the elders will step in. Maybe Rakishi. Who knows? But I do believe that also, if you saw the post from Jay Uso, which he deleted the post afterwards, but he did post it, that blood, the blood sign. You see it. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. And now we have crazy, insane news, okay? Zero News has reported that Randy Orton could be coming back anytime now, with some in WWE wanting his return to be as early as in Money in the Bank 2023. However, this plan is likely to be held off until SummerSlam to give the crowd a huge surprise. What do you guys think, man? Randy Orton, finally back. Let's go. We need him. Now, he could be a great challenger to Roman Reigns getting his revenge. Hey, man, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Now, remember to like, subscribe for more content, for more videos. Thank you all for being here and have a great night.